there guys, Colin here. More wah wah pedal for you today, we're going to talk about inductors. If you have a Dunlop crybaby, then the inductor is likely going to be placed right here between the input and output jacks. This circular component is what's creating a lot of your sound. In simple terms, an inductor is a coil of copper wire around a ferrite core. But what does that mean for the sound of the wah pedal? The inductor is the first place that really shapes the cue of the pedal. What's happening in a wah pedal is you're choosing a range of frequencies to emphasise uh, and as you move the rocker back and forth you change where that emphasis lies. That frequency response curve is dictated by the Q factor. Different types of inductors change it very drastically because the Q is related to how strong the ferrite is and how much resistance is in the copper wire. So when it comes to shaping how the wah sounds the inductor is very important. Over the years, many different types of inductors have been used in wah pedals. Um, there's a few high-end aftermarket replacements, like the red and yellow Pizel. Um, the Halo inductor is another one that's very, very well sought after, but almost impossible to find. This original Crybaby from maybe about the 80s has a toroidal inductor, which is a slightly different uh, style of inductor again. So why am I telling you all this? Well, I've been looking into inductors for wah pedals, and I was looking for some aftermarket replacements and thought it would be just as easy for me to wind my own and that way make a proper experiment with different amounts of coils, different ferrites, etc, etc, etc. So today I have a range of inductors round about a certain value of inductance um, and I'm going to try them one by one and hopefully you'll be able to hear how different they sound with just such a little change in their inductance. For this test I'll be using my standard modern Crybaby which I've modified before and what I've done is I've removed the inductor and wired on two crocodile clips on the ends of a length of wire and I'll be able to attach each new inductor to these and be able to swap them in and out nice and easily and be able to hear the differences between them. And I'll be using this older Crybaby with the toroidal inductor for some reference sounds. So this is what you'll be hearing as my stock good wah pedal and we'll be able to see how the inductor sound compared to this. Before we go any further I just wanted to show you my inductor test circuit here. So this is my inductor here and it's hooked up to this black box and uh, inside this black box is our resistor. So this inductor is in series with the resistor. It's got two points where I can take these test probes and test. So that will test the magnitude of the voltage over the inductor and the magnitude of the voltage over the resistor. And the other thing I've got is my old smartphone here plugged in with a sine wave generator uh, application playing through the headphone jack. Now as a physicist I know that the inductance is equal to the resistance over 2 pi the frequency. So all I need to do is find what frequency it is when the magnitude of the voltage across the resistor equals the magnitude of the voltage across the inductor. And that way I've got everything I need to calculate what the inductance of this coil is. Since I've got a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor in here and I know what 2 pi is, I can reduce my formula to 750 over F equals the inductance. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
So what I heard here from this experiment was that as the value of the inductance goes up, um, you lose some treble but gain a lot of bass. For the, for the lower value inductors there was a lot of sharpness, a lot of treble there, and not so deep a bass response when the heel was right back. But as you got to the higher end of the inductance spectrum, there was a real, real um, bass sound there, really, really deep sort of wah in the bass, and it was less sharp in the treble end. So I guess... Um, a slightly higher value would be good for maybe some hard rock sort of idea, but if you were going to go for the funk, funk and um, whacka whackas uh, on the clean channel, then add more trebly sounds probably what you're looking for. So let me know what you think of those inductors, whether you heard the difference, whether you didn't, um, if you thought it was good or bad or whatever, what was your favourite? I can maybe wind some more, I'm probably going to do a lot more experiments on this. And I'll have to get them potted up as well because I was getting a little bit of microphonics because I hadn't potted them yet. But um, it's a work in progress and uh, if I ever get it perfected I might put them up for sale. Uh, so if you want some custom inductors I'll maybe have them for you. Anyway, um, that's enough for now. I'll see you later.